Hi, it's Bruce T here. We're just a short video based on Mark 9, verse 30 to 32. They went out from there and passed through Galilee. He did not want anyone to know it, for he was teaching his disciples and said to them, The Son of Man is being handed over to the hands of men and they will kill him. And when he is killed on the third day, he will rise again. But they didn't understand the saying and were afraid to ask him. Now this is the second announcement in Mark's Gospel of Jesus' death. But the disciples are bewildered. They didn't understand. His earthly kingdom was about to appear, they thought. They were part of his inner circle. And we find later on they were talking about who was the greatest. They were part of his inner circle and wanted to be with him. So when he drove the Romans out of Israel, they would be with him. They would stand victorious on the platform, waving in front of the crowds. But that was not what Jesus came for. The only disciples had the prejudice and preconceived ideas, but it didn't add up. Why didn't it add up? Because Jesus was showing them how to live the Christian life. It was being the example that they needed. He was doing miracles. He was teaching. He was preaching. He was talking to the least and the poorest. And yet they all thought of a different opinion. They were in fact tax collectors and fishermen. So probably not the brightest bunch there. But Jesus needed to tell them. And I don't believe they got it until we read in Acts that they finally realised why Jesus had come. To pay the price of our sin, past, present and future. If we go back to Abraham when he took his son up Mount Moriah and was going to sacrifice him. He said God himself will supply the sacrifice. And God himself has supplied the sacrifice. Jesus Christ who has paid the price of our sin past, present and future. So if this is what you think, you need to realise that Jesus is the Son of God. He came as a babe through the incarnation by the Virgin Mary and lived a life until he was 30, being taught how to live the Jewish way, the Jewish speech, the Jewish talk and then he started his ministries at age 30 teaching and preaching and at age 33 he died on the cross so this is why he was telling them the son of man is being handed over to the hands of men they will kill him and when he is killed on the third day he will rise again Jesus is alive he's paid the price of our sin we need to accept who he is what he's done and say sorry for the wrong things that we've done in our life and commit our ways to him to live a life that's pleasing to him. Thank you for listening and may God bless you.